to spend a moment on driving real change. So this sounds like it's got to be a monumental thing, right? But that's not actually how I mean it at all. What I want you to think about here is being intentional about why you're doing all of this in the first place, right? You want to be a data viz superstar. Why? What's the driving purpose, right? You might think data visualization is cool, which is great. It is. It's a fun space, but that's not going to be enough to motivate you through the setbacks and challenges that you are going to encounter. So you want to dig deeper, right? Really identify and articulate your purpose. My hope is that you're doing this because of the impact you can have. And that's the impact in the day to day. Uh, helping people understand something better so that they can have a more robust discussion or consider the right sort of options or take an action with increased confidence. Right? And it's by drawing on all of the points that we've covered today that we can put together a plan to do that. Actually, to that end, we've put together the big picture worksheet. It looks like this. Um, I'm going to step you through this piece by piece. And it actually follows the same path we took today in thinking about these different uh, facets related to how we can forge a path to data visualization superstardom. So let me take you through the pieces of this worksheet, and then I'll tell you where you can get your own copy. So it starts off the same way we started our session today, with a segment that prompts you to self-evaluate. Consider where you're at along this spectrum of data visualization communications that we talked about and where you like to be in the context of where your team is. Right? Because as we discussed, you can't really successfully move too far past or beyond your team. So when you are at that point, then you want to think about how you can help bring others along with you. So then we can think about what exactly it is we want to learn and what resources we're going to turn to, how we're going to apply those learnings thoughtfully in our jobs, and who we are going to turn to in order to get good feedback. We also want to consider where we're likely to gain support or meet resistance, and how we can make use of the support we expect, and how we can overcome the resistance that we encounter. So all of this context is great to think about and use to influence the goal that we set in the near term for investing in ourselves and our skills and those of our team around us. So the final section of the worksheet asks you to create your own objective and key results. And this is going to be really specific to you. Right? At the end of this, you have your personal plan for becoming a data visualization superstar. You can find this worksheet. It's actually in the featured exercise in the Storytelling with Data community. So if you're watching this live, you'll find it there. It will also live forever in our archives under the title, The Big Picture. And I do encourage you, once you've taken the time to reflect and set your goal, there is a current goals section within your member profile in the community. So definitely encourage you to share your goals there. It can be an awesome way for those, whether it's me or someone on the Storytelling with Data team or other community members are wanting to offer you input or feedback on an exercise or a challenge or a feedback request, where we can take those specific goals into account as we do so. It's also just a fun way to get to know each other a little better. Uh, what you see in front of you now are just a handful of goals that I pulled from community member profiles of the folks who I know are here joining us live today. So you can use it as a way to get to know your fellow community members better. 
And I just encourage you leaving the session here today, all right? Be clear and intentional on your purpose. Form a plan that you can use to execute. And as you look to the future, when it comes to developing yourself, and developing your team, consider how you can use the points we've covered today to do that.